Hello my fellow crafters and welcome back to Inspiration for Cards. My name is David and today I'm going to be making a card. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be working with a new collection from Elizabeth Craft Designs which is called For the Record. And I've already made some pages for my planner which you could have already seen last week. I've posted those. Um, while I'm filming this we are before the planner retreat but when you're seeing this we've already had a blast and it's finished. That's how it goes, right? Anyways, um, I'm going to be making uh, something with this new collection again, but it's not going to be a planner page. If you follow me and if you know me a little bit by now, you know that I always like to stretch my supplies and see what else I can make with these dice. Now, this was pretty obvious to me that this had a card written all over it. So let's uh, switch the cameras and I will explain to you what I'm going to be doing. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working with the file folder set one. Now this, the big die, to me screams, make a card out of me. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is going to be quite a simple one, simple, quick and easy one, because I'm packing up for the retreat as we speak. So this is in between everything. The craft room is a complete disaster uh, because there's piles of stuff everywhere. But it's all for fun, right? So, uh, but I just wanted to, to pop in and make this video. So this is all uh, uh, what I'm going to be using. Fairly. And I'm going to be using the stamp set uh, that comes with it. This one, this one and that stamp I'm going to be using. So with that being said, uh, let's uh, continue and make a card. Oh yeah, I'm going to make, try these. The new Distress Watercolor Pencils set one. Two and three are on their way, but I've only got set one at the moment. And I really thought, nah, I don't need watercolor pencils. I've got them. Um, because I, I've got the Karen Dash ones and I've got the Intense ones. But then, just because they have the same names as all the Distress inks that I have, um, and the same color, it makes sense, right? So I'm going to be testing these out today. Um, I've got my card base ready, and the card base is the file folder. I love it. It's, it's just so cool. Um, I've got my black card layer, matte layer ready, which I used this thingy for to round the corners. Uh, and that really makes it fun. Uh, and I'm going to use this one as well. I'm going to round the corners for that when I'm ready. But I'm going to make some uh, a, a colorful background first. So um, First, I'm going to stamp, I think, because then the ink can dry. That makes sense, right? So I'm going to be using this stamp set. And I'm going to use the ink bottle. I'm going to use this one, the pencil. And I'm not 100% sure yet how I'm going to use the sentiment. So I might as well um, stamp that too. Focusing on the ink pot. Perfect. There's a good layer of ink on there. Yeah. Okay, Misty can go to the side. Here I have my Wow Clear Embossing Powder. And I will put a layer of that. Okay, so that's all nicely melted. Now, let's get my pencils out. And give this some color. Now, I'm going to start with the easy part, which is the brown here um, in the pencil. And I'm just scribbling this on. It goes on quite smoothly. I haven't used them yet, so go. So I've just put the color on that side. Now I'm taking my little teeny weeny watercolor brush and I'm just going to activate that ink. Let me see how that's working. Curious. So I'm using the 200 grams watercolor cardstock from Fasa Creative, uh, the Florence. And that takes the water well. So that's the first layer. Now I'm just coming in with the pencil. And I'm going to load up the tip of my brush, like so. Just going over that, and you can see the color is being picked up. And I'm just going to intensify this color. 
Now, I'm not a watercolor artist by all means, but I think this is fun. You see? So, I will do the same here because I know I'm going to use the same color there, so might as well lay down some pigment for that because that's what it is fairly you put down some pigment so I'm activating the pigment and then pulling it out making sure there's color all over that it's nicely blended no harsh lines but that the darkest concentration is here where I wanted it okay next I'm taking tumbled glass and since this is a glass uh, pot I just figured Fill that in. Using tumbled glass. Like so. So it's a very light <coughs> layer of color, as you can see. Cleaning off my brush. Making sure that brown is no longer on there. And do the same. Activate that pigment. Brushing it out. And then... When this is done, I will darken it up. So I'm just going to take <clears throat> a hint of this uh, darker blue, which is salty ocean, which is not dark blue, but it's just darker than the tumbled glass. I'm going to pick that up with my little brush. I'm just going to dab that on there in the areas where the natural shadows are, the bits that are darker here. And then I'm just going to work that out, blend that out into that tumbled glass. And that gives it some dimension. You see what that does? It really gives it some dimension. So I will do that to the rest. And what I do, I keep dipping my brush into the water, tapping on my cloth here, and go back and forth to make, get a nice blend. Next, um, I need a color. Oh, I forgot this part. This is also part of the bottle. What I will do, I will make this a different color to give the illusion that there is ink in there. I think that's fun. So I'm going to this is fire brick, nice fiery red. Blend that out. And I will just blend that out the same as I did with the other colors. So now that I know the ink color is fire brick, I will just color my brush in the same color. I must say they're quite nice, these... Uh, what am I doing? Making a mess, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut them out anyway. Um, but they're nice, these... Uh, pencils. Now I just have to decide on um, I will just make them blue. That's the downside of not having all the colors because I would have given this another but then again blue and red are nice together. Red makes the blue pop another way around. So I'm just scribbling. Nothing more, nothing less. There we go. Now, I just need a tiny bit of black. Because what I want to do is coming in here, just give this yeah, metal-y thingy a bit of color. And I want that to be gray. And if you really wet this black, the black suit this is, it turns gray. So now I've also got a tiny bit of that black suit that I'm going to put on the on the red here to give it a bit of shadow. So otherwise this red is a bit too plain to my liking. There we go. Coloring done. Check. I like them. They're not my Caran d'Ache ones, but for the price point, 
And it's nice that you know the colors. Um, so I'm curious when I get the other ones. Then I'll put them in rainbow order, because I like it. And then uh, we'll see. Right, background. I'm going to use my acrylic block. I'm going to clean that quickly. And I'm going to use that to press down onto my card. And what I'm going to use is tumbled glass, which is the light blue we used there, to pull it back, and hickory smoke. And that will give it a bit of a darker, moodier idea. So what I'm doing is I'm just tapping that onto my acrylic block, like so, and give that a good spritz of water. And I'm going to turn that around and put that onto my card. Now I had a bit of that doesn't matter. I'm going to press this down because I want that to really even out. You see, now I've got that color everywhere. So I will just let that sit and let that color sink in. So while that's happening, I will cut out this and I will see you when this is done, cut out. Okay, so these elements are all cut out now. Um, so that's done. And this is quite a quick and easy card. The background isn't done yet, but this has been sitting on there while I've been cutting that. So I'm just taking that off. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Nice, moody background. Now what I want to do, is I just want to drip down that side a bit. And come down here a bit. Just help that along with water and let that sit for a moment before I dry it. Just want to put some splatters on there. To give it even more of an inky, splotchy background. And dry it further. Before I go any further, I will take my corner punch and I will just trim these corners off. Just so that when I do the rest of the inking, it has the right shape. Okay, I've got my brush here. I'm going to ink that up with the tumbled glass. I'm going to come in from the sides and give this a bit more color. Just adding a bit of that blue. Okay, that's that. Next, I'm coming in with Hickory Smoke and go around again, but not going in as far. So I'm just going to do the edge next again. I'm coming in with my water spray just to let this oxidize a bit. Now what I'm going to do, because I think this is beautiful, but it's I, I, I see all these layers in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my distress glaze, just going to put that onto my finger. Now the other day I saw someone do it with Vaseline. It worked as well. But I'm not sure it has the same ingredients. Could well be, but anyway, I like the product. Look at that. You see it coming to life more. It's really fun stuff, this distress glaze. You see the difference in depth. The shine will go, but it's really giving depth. I'm taking my piece of paper towel now, and I'm just going to buff that. Taking off any excess. Okay, let's assemble. This is going on there. So get my glue out. There we go. And then I'm going to put that onto my card front. I love how this is coming together. Position that, line it up. There we go. Now, for fun, I'm going to put this one there 
this one there. And I'm going to do something to this one. I'm going to take my Sharpie, my black Sharpie, and just go around this sentiment to give it a black line. And then I will take my blue and I will just give this a hint of blue. Done. So that's going to be there. And that's going to be right here. So let's assemble this card further, put on some glue onto my ink pot. Like so. Onto my brush. And next I'm coming back in with my pencils. And I'm going to take my black pencil and I'm just going to ground this bottle, giving that a bit of shading, just so it's standing on something fairly. There we go. You see, that just gives it a bit of grounding. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in with that fired brick. I'm just going to draw on some ink drops and make a puddle of ink right there. And I love that title because I am having an artistic blast. And there we have it. The final result of this card. Uh, I just love these fire folders for a card. This is just so many possibilities. Yeah, I love it. Right, that was it for today, guys. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my... So I can't speak today. Consider to subscribe to my channel because that would really make my day. Um, yeah, I loved how this car turned out. I hope you like it too, and I would love to see you for the next one. Thank you very much. Bye!